nurses will be striking again after they rejected the, the government's pay offer. Everyone thought the nurses would accept this offer, um, as was supposed to be a good compromise from both sides. Do you think nurses are asking too much on the striking too often? So, this deal was nearly done, and the, the main nursing unions, a lot of them had um, recommended uh, for their nurses to take it. It was, I think it was the RCN. Uh, I think most of them recommended yeah, it, except for one or was two. was one had, had, that rejected yeah. it. Now, I've worked in the NHS, and I understand there's pressures and nurses are under, and NHS staff are under. People feel burnt out. Things have got busier since the pandemic, not, 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 not easier. And the cost of living and everything no, else but specifically is, is with the payoff. I was it right to? I think they should take it because the reason we 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 need to pre- pre- prevent inflation. Yeah. And we're doing our best. We may end up with one more interest rise. We may we, we, and hopefully inflation has peaked and hopefully it peaked back in October. But if we carry on giving public services. Um, pay rises we'll end up with a spiral of inflation so it's 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 a it's 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 a job of government to try and manage that inflation for the whole of the population of us as a country going forward so even though everyone would love to pay nurses more public public servants in general probably need to just hold fire and wait a little bit longer before we can think about that our economy is is in a dire state um, as as our other economies across Europe, with with what's what's happening with the cost of living crisis, our our, our war with um with Russia and the like, so we just have to. I would say no. They should. They have to. They have to. They should accept it. It was generous in in the so what, in, so in if, the conditions we're in. So now they've already said no. Is it right for them to strike or? Well, it looks like we're going into a, a period now of maybe strike actions again, and that's. I cannot see how the government can back down on this one. Um, I don't know. It looks like this could go on for months and it could encourage other public sector unions to, to go the same route. I just hope that they have to rethink about this again. I hope that the government ministers approach the unions again and there's some really open and better dialogue than there was first time because I don't think first time negotiations so for um what, what as they, affable as they could have what been. can they do forward if the, if uh, they've rejected it and you said the government shouldn't give another offer what else can be done and we have a stalemate situation yeah and i think that the 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 government could probably say like I don't know is the answer. I honestly <laughs> don't know. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's a difficult one. It's, I have no idea. What do you think? What's your answer? Or if there is an answer? Well, the frustration I have is that, in a way, we're not talking about the fundamental issues of not being able to access a GP very easily, certainly not being able to get a face-to-face appointment, ridiculously long, long waits in accident emergency departments and for ambulances. The system is out of control in many parts of the country. Uh, and what we need is fundamental, not just more money for the NHS, but fundamental reform in terms of its leadership, management and organisation. And I personally would like us to have a debate about what, how that would look and what it would mean. But the answer to the question directly is I think Unison uh, recommended, which is often seen as the more militant union affiliated to the Labour Party, uh, recommended to the members they should accept this pay deal, which they duly did. Uh, and I think that's a good benchmark. Unison are no soft touch, you know, and they obviously taking account of all the circumstances the challenges that their members face, the realities in terms of where the government were likely to be willing to compromise, uh, recommended approval, and, and, it, uh, and their members voted for that. So I think I would say yes. The deal that's on at the table, the deal that's on the table at the moment, should should have been should be accepted. But I also think that Dave is right. Uh, the people on the front line are under tremendous pressure in our NHS. Make no mistake about it. They're not snowflakes uh, before. Uh, one or two of your people uh, maybe say that they are. They're not. A lot of them under uh, under ridiculous amounts of pressure. And I can understand this. It's being about how they feel undervalued as much as as, as it is about their take home pay. Uh, but that's a debate that we need to have away from this current pay round mm. in the current set of circumstances we face, which is where we have to get inflation down. The government has increased its offer from its earlier pretty derisory offer, but everyone starts with a negotiating position. We all know that. Um, so, yeah, if I, if, if I was them in the current circumstances, uh, I, would, I would have taken the deal and I, I would now be finding a way to avoid to, 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 to come together with the government 
perhaps talk about a future mechanism that would reassure their members more, that would enable them to call off strike action? 